I get this question all the time. How much deep sleep do I need? Now, there's no simple answer. What we do know is humans spend 10 to 25% of their time sleeping in deep sleep. That means if you get eight hours of sleep, you're spending 48 minutes to about two hours of deep sleep huge range. The good news is you don't need to worry about how much deep sleep you're getting. The reason? Your brain is self-optimizing and spending the right amount of time in each stage each night. So it's getting the right deep sleep, it's getting the right REM, it's getting the right non-REM sleep. All you need to do is get enough healthy sleep, the kind you'd get from good sleep hygiene overall, things like limiting caffeine before noon, limiting alcohol at night, avoiding big meals before bed. Lastly, there's three deep sleep myths that I just get asked about all the time and I wanna address each one. Myth one is that deep sleep is the most restorative stage. The answer, every stage matters. There's not one most important stage. Every sleep stage has a very critical role when it comes to your brain restoring for the next day and impacting your health and energy levels. Myth two, so many people are worrying about not getting enough deep sleep. The answer, deep sleep isn't a metric that you should focus on. Instead, focus on sleep debt, which is gonna make the biggest difference to your health and your energy levels. Myth three, people are concerned that their wearable is telling them that they're not getting enough deep sleep, or they're reading into, oh, I got 20 minutes last night, and now it's an hour and a half. Certainly whatever I did impacted that number. By now you should know that it doesn't matter, you shouldn't focus on it. But even more so, take any measurement you get from a wearable with a huge grain of salt. You should know that even in a sleep lab where they hook you up to a lot of wires, even those experts only agree on the stage about 80% of the time. So if your deep sleep number's fluctuating, one, it should, that's a good thing. That tells you your brain is optimizing. Just don't overfocus on it. It's going to change quite a bit just because of the measurement error. Now, if you're interested in improving your sleep, you should give the Rise Up a try for free in the app stores. It figures out how much sleep you need using a year of your phone data and helps you keep track of your sleep with the one measure that scientists agree impacts your day the most, which is sleep debt. I promise if you get your sleep debt down, you will feel way, way better.